Hi friends. In this video, we will see how to make weather station using ESP32 microcontroller and BME280 sensor. We will display temperature, pressure, humidity and altitude values on OLED display. So, let's get started. In this project, we are using 0.96 inch OLED I2C display to show sensor data. As a sensor, we have GVI BME280 I2C sensor. And this is the brain of the project. Wemos Lolin 32 board. This board has separate port for 3.7 volt battery. Now let's check the wiring diagram. This is the simple wiring diagram for weather station. Now let's install and connect components on the breadboard. First install ESP32 board on the breadboard. Keep the USB port on the end of the breadboard for easy wiring. Now install OLED display on the board. Keep the distance according to length of the jumper wire. Now install BME to AT sensor on the breadboard. So all three required components installed on the breadboard. We are now ready to connect them using jumper wires. First, we will provide 3.3 volt power supply to OLED display and BME 280 sensor using red and black wires as shown in the video. Ground wire from ESP32 board will connect to ground of OLED display. 3.3 volt wire will connect to VCC of the OLED display. We use red and black jumper wires for easy understanding. BME will connect to parallel with OLED display. Hence connect VCC of OLED display to VCC of the BME 280 sensor. Similarly connect ground of the OLED display to ground of the BME 280 sensor as shown here. Now connect one end of the blue color wire to the pin number 22 of the ESP32 board and other end to the SDA of the display. Now connect SDA of the display to SDA of the sensor. Now connect one end of the green color wire to the pin number 21 of the ESP32 board and other end to the SCL of the display. Now connect SCL of the display to SCL of the sensor. So all our connections are completed and our setup is ready to upload the sketch. To find the COM port of ESP32 board, open Device Manager and Expand Ports menu. Currently our board is not plugged in. Once you plugged in the board in the USB port, New COM port will be assigned to your board. If you don't have drivers for your ESP32 board, go to Google and type CP210 driver download.
select the official website to download CP210 USB drivers. Go to download section and download drivers according to your operating system. Now OLED display and BME280 sensor connected to the ESP32 board on the pin 22 and 21. We need to find I2C address of the OLED display and BME280 sensor. We have this I2C scanner sketch to find the address of I2C devices. Now go ahead and hit the upload button to upload this sketch to the board. Once the sketch is uploaded to the board, open serial monitor and select the baud rate as shown here. This sketch will scan to find any I2C device connected to the I2C pins of the board and display address in the serial monitor as shown here. Now open the main sketch. Before you upload the sketch to the board, you have to download Adafruit GFX library. Adafruit SSD library, Adafruit sensor library and BME280 library. If you hit upload button without downloading these libraries, the error will be displayed and ask you to download libraries. In this section of the sketch, we have defined dimensions of the OLED display. In the next section, we will initialize the display and the sensor connected to the I2C pins. In the setup section, we defined baud rate for the serial monitor and also defined I2C pins of the ESP32 board using wire library. Now in the next code, we will initialize display and sensor using the I2C address we got from the scanner sketch. Now we will get values from the sensor using the Adafruit BME280 library and define variable of each characteristics. Now at the next section of the code, we are setting up the text header, labels and values of temperature, humidity, pressure and altitude received from the sensor to display on the OLED display module. If you are not sure where to download libraries, then go to Library Manager as shown here. You can search and filter the installed libraries and update them if required. All your installed libraries will be displayed here. If you want to download any library, just type the library name as shown here. For example, we are copy-pasting Adafruit GFX text and library will be displayed. Once all your libraries installed, we are ready to upload the sketch to the board. To upload the sketch, go to drop-down menu, select the COM port we got from the device manager earlier. In the search box, type name of your board. Here we will search and find Vimo's Lowland 32 board and click OK button. We can verify the sketch for any error. If you don't get any error, then you can good to go for uploading the sketch to the board.
as we didn't got any error we will hit upload button to flash the code on the ESP32 board and flashing process will start as shown here. Once the sketch is uploaded to the board, we are now ready to test our weather station. Connect USB cable to the board. And congratulations! You have successfully completed the mini weather station.